So hi everyone, today we have a special guest on our channel. We have Arun with us. So Arun, would you like to introduce yourself to the viewers? Hi Asis, thanks for having me here. I am Arun Putwa and I have recently joined Browser Stack as a software engineer. And uh, talking about Browser Stack, then Browser Stack is a basically a India top uh, cross browser browser testing platform which helps developers to test their websites, mobile applications, our various browsers, operating systems, and real mobile devices. All right, nice, nice. So, like he mentioned, he has cracked browser stack that two off campus. So, we'll be getting to know his journey, his interview experience, and everything in between. So, Arun, would you like to start us off with your interview experience? Like, how did you apply? What all happened? How did it go? Yeah, so I have applied to browser stack uh, via off campus. So, basically, I did cold emailing to the HR. I do have some HR uh, emails. So, I did cold email. And after one or two days, I got back. I, I got the mess, uh, email from the HR that uh, we wanted to go forward with you. So, and then uh, HR has told me that we want to schedule an uh, interview with you. That would be our engineering manager round first. So basically in that interview, he would be judging me uh, like uh, on, on the basis of my previous experience and what the project I had done and uh, and a motivation to join Browser Stack. So, and uh, like the browser stacks, HR are really very supportive. They guide uh, for each and every interview round. Even they tell tell about what kind of question they are going to ask us. So, interviewer, uh, so the HRs are really very chill and they, they give you guide for every round. So, after you connected with the HR and your interviews were scheduled, like what all happened in the interviews? Like what kind of questions were there? What topics did you face and what all happened? Yeah, so... Uh, so first, I, I think I should tell about uh, how many rounds were there. So, so my first round was engineering manager round. Then uh, I directly have machine coding round. And then at last, I, I was having director of engineering round. I didn't have uh, HR round because they were quite happy with my performance with all, all the previous three rounds. And talking about engineering manager round, then uh, he was basically judging me on my previous projects and uh, previous uh, work in, in the company. And uh, he has also asked me some question related to large files, like if they are giving me large files and how I will handle that. And there are some counter questions which were related to my projects. So uh, since I had open source contribution in Google Summer of Code in the organization called Linux Foundation. So uh, they he has cons questioned me over some counter questions like, uh, what if uh, there is some changes made in the input file, then how, how how would you deal with that? And what if there would be a large file, then how would you deal with that? So there were some counter question basis on the basis of projects. And uh, yeah, the interviewer was quite like SD1, I guess, SD2. Interviewer was SD2 at the time. And uh, according to the interviewer, I have explained everything well. And then after one or two days, I get a call from for the second round. And the round was machine coding round. So uh, basically machine coding round is a kind of system design round. So uh, in system, uh, it's a, basically they do ask some question and we have to write the code uh, in the peer programming. So you can also use Google in between. So, uh, and then you can search what kind of, uh, what, what kind of functions you're gonna use and uh, you can use any kind of language there. So th they were they were free to use that and uh, and you have to solve the question within around uh, three hours. Since I was having a backend developer interview, so I have given two and a half hours. But for uh, front end plus uh, backend, that is full stack developer, they have to solve it in three hours or three and a half hours. So uh, that is quite enough time for solving the problems. And uh, you can uh, access GFG and Glassdoor for finding the kind of problem they ask uh, in the in the machine coding. And then uh, talking about my third interview, then uh, it was a director of engineering round, uh, which was a very short interview. It was around 30 minutes. And uh, he has just started me with asking like uh, what I have, whatever I had done in my previous company, what kind of project I had, I had, I had done. And uh, also he talked about my open source contribution to the Linux foundation. So mm, yeah, all this discussion goes on and then uh, he has asked me a one DSA question, uh, which was based on some stack monotonic stack, which, which I was able to solve easily. And uh, basically this company is not much aligned with the DSA, 
they it is company which generally ask about uh, web development mostly so if you are good at web development then this is the place for you because uh, dsa is not uh, too much asked in this company even even they can ask dsa in the engineering manager round but that would be a very simple problem not very hard one initially like when hr has connected with me then uh, he has told me like what kinds of question they are going to ask me and he he has also suggested to me you, you should look uh, gfg and glassdoor so since hr were very supportive so he was giving me hint at every round so i had just gone through Uh, glass door and i have uh, also compiled all the question from the glass door into a doc and then i have written answer for all of them and from that i was having a basic idea like like what kind of question they are going to ask me so i have prepared a doc for browser stack only and i was compiling every question and answer for that one so that was my main strategy to clear browser stack and there were some question which were in the machine coding round which people usually find tough so for that uh, you can also again do the uh, G- you can you can find them on the gfg or the grass store and then you have to find the answer by you by your own or you can use chat gpt for that uh, for writing the answer but uh, in the interview you uh, there are some forums there uh, in the web in the google where there are answers for some of the questions machine coding questions but you can't access them in the time of interview so you can you can access those before the interview and you can learn from them and you can uh, write your own code uh, on the basis of that so that will help you to enhance the preparation so for the question you got in machine coding round was it similar to what you found in gfg and glassdoor matlab agar koi gfg glassdoor se prepare kare to will it be enough for machine coding round yeah so uh, browser stack generally are similar kind of questions which were there in the gfg so if you are preparing from gfg or glassdoor uh, that's a possibility that you will get the similar kind of questions or there would be minor m- modification so for making your projects or you know revising and development ya machine coding round ke liye specifically apne koi specific resources use kiye the while preparing ya fir you just revise from your notes that you made for browser stack yeah so uh, like if i would talk about resources then uh, i okay. what i did i basically gone through most of the gfg and glassdoor experiences and from that i have compiled that list of question that has been asked to me and from that list of question i did got like this kind of topic topic browser stays generally asked so i generally prepared sockets multi threading mm-hmm. and also file handling so these are three topics that i have mm. focused mostly on, uh, in the web development side and talking about uh, dsa so i was already confident about dsa since i have solved around 800 problems on lead code so i was pretty confident on that note and uh, talking about my project since i was contributing to linux foundation and i was having a mm. project which would get deployed to linux snap so uh, i was having complete understanding of my project so i i was uh, i was enough confident that i can explain that that project to the interviewer so this this was my strategy mm. like uh, going through all the experiences and then understanding what kind of topic they are generally going to ask so i had prepared them mostly hmm right right and i think agar aap ek hackathon ji jate ho ya open source contribution karte ho so it becomes easier right, right. in right. just in development in general yeah. so it's always much better than making personal projects agar aap hackathons mein ja rahe ho aap open source mein ja rahe ho if you go for something like gsoc then always it will be more preferable than someone who's you know just doing personal projects right okay. all right contributing to open source is much much better than doing your own projects because when you are contributing to open source you would be going through the large code base and your code would deploy to that organization which is hmm. much much more important than doing your own projects so the impact of those hmm. project on your resume is really really good like you you can got get call from some uh, good companies also if you are contributing to some uh, good organizations hmm correct correct exactly resume shortlist hone ke liye thodi it becomes easier ah, right correct. if you have done something like gsoc or if you have won some hackathon or something right, like right. that so right ha huh. all right so on a final note you know to all of the people who are watching this video who also want to crack a company like browser stack what advice will you give you know what tips and advice would you like to give them yeah so the first advice that i will definitely give like uh, uh, it's kind of like never give up 
you should uh, it's, it's a general advice not uh, only for the browser stack so if you are like uh, facing lots of rejections like no 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 multiple times then uh, i think at one day there would be yes so get you should give interview as much as possible don't don't feel like uh, i was not able to crack that up and just just keep keep giving interviews and there would be one day that uh, on that day you will be able to crack your dream company or maybe not dream company that some good company hmm right eventually ho jata hai like it keep on working hard yeah, eventually everything yeah. falls into place and uh, similarly happens with me i did quit my last company in in october i guess and then i was interviewing for multiple companies like i did we interviewed for qualcom amazon media.net and i was rejecting in those but uh, somehow i did cold emailing and then browser stack comes into play and uh, i was get selected into that so it's like multiple no and then getting one yes that that's all what we need correct correct so that's pretty inspiring you know to hear that after so many rejections you were able to crack browser stack which is also a good product based company right so any piece of technical advice would you like to give for people you know who are appearing for such interviews or are wanting to crack such interviews so uh the advice for the technical like the technical advice that i would give is basically like uh, you should not uh, be very go deep into one of the technologies like you either doing dsa or web development or only only one thing you should try to balance balance all those things like try to do dsa with the web development because in company you would not be doing only dsa you would be doing web development part basically but you would be using dss somewhere because dss is basically where you are built builds up your logic so if you are doing both of the things simultaneously then i think that would help you in the long run hmm. right right the basic point is you have to balance out everything right. Because okay, there are companies who DSA will change here, and there are companies like we saw Browser Stack, which is a good product-based yeah. company, but they focus more on the design development rather than DSA. Right? I think nowadays so people have... should also learn system design too, so they should hmm. balance even as fresh things sure. like learning DSA and then web development and then system design too. Because uh, nowadays the top companies are asking uh, system design too, so you have to be get prepared for all of these te- technical skills. Hmm. करेक्ट करेक्ट बिकॉज पहले मशीन कोडिंग राउंड्स नहीं देखने को मिलते थे सिस्टम डिजाइन राउंड नहीं देखने को मिलते थे फ्रेशर्स के लिए बट नाउ एज वी सी लाइक इवन सिस्टम डिजाइन मशीन कोडिंग राउंड इज गेटिंग अस सो दैट्स सम ग्रेट एडवाइस राइट देयर यू नीड टू बैलेंस आउट यू नो डीएसए डेवलपमेंट सिस्टम डिजाइन एंड गिव एम्पल अमाउंट ऑफ टाइम टू ऑल ऑफ देम राइट या वी डू हैव करेक्ट लाइक मिंत्रा आई थिंक मिंत्रा एंड अटलासियन दे डू आस्क सिस्टम डिजाइन हम्म करेक्ट करेक्ट एग्जैक्टली ओके So I guess that covers pretty much everything about Arun's journey to cracking browser stack. If uh, anyone still has any doubt or if they want to connect with Arun, then I'll give his LinkedIn in the description. You guys can follow him from there and connect with him from there. So thanks a lot, Arun, for coming on my channel and sharing your journey with me and my subscribers. I hope it will help a lot of students. So yeah, thank you. Yeah, thanks a lot, Ashish, for having me on your channel. It's it's my first experience. <laughs> yeah.